Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation and Insight by Dynamics Square. Today we are going to cover the topic Alert Rules. Before I start, let me first introduce myself to all of you. My name is Ruchi Sharma. I am a Senior Functional Consultant for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. So let's get started. Today's agenda is to discuss about alert rule followed by a process overview and demonstration in the product. So let me just give you a brief about alerts. Alerts can be used to give a notification to the concerned user about the specific event in the application. These specific event can be change, addition, deletion, due date or any amount um, specified exceeding value and so on. These notifications can be in the form of a pop-up message in the application or via an email. So let's have a look how we can define the alert rule in the system. So to the, do that, I'm just taking a simple scenario where we will be defining an alert on all vendor master form. So whenever a new vendor record is created in the system, as a concerned user, I should get a notification. So I'm just clicking on this create a custom alert button on the action pane of all vendor master form to configure our alert for the process of new vendor master creation. So let's have a look what all information we have to capture while defining or creating our alert rule. So on the top, if you can notice system assign a rule ID, which is a unique uh, ID code and it displays the table for which we are defining the alert. So we are accessing this create alert rule via all vendor master form. So the table name displays here is the vendor table. Then there are multiple tabs available. Let's have a look and discuss all these tabs in detail. So alert me when means we, are, we have to define the action point at what level we should get alert. So the very first thing comes is the table name. It displays the parent table as well as the related tables for that particular form via which we are creating the alert rule. Then the fields for which we have to define the alerts. There are options like all fields. We can, either we can define the alert for all the fields available on that master form or for a specific field on that form. So based on the field selection, the event change. So if I'm selecting alert for all the fields, then I can only have two action in terms of created record if a new record is created or we are deleting an existing record however if i change this field selection to any specific field for example credit rating or credit limit then the events change so let's have a look so if i am changing the field selection to credit limit so the events change to has been changed decrease increase or record a new record is created so it's changed accordingly so for this scenario, I'm just taking for all the fields or whenever a new record is created, I should get a notification. Then alert me for, again, the user can define this particular rule will work for all the record in the vendor table or the form which we are accessing or for a specific record. So I'm just selecting for all the records. Under alert me until, the user can define a due date or end date to that particular alert. So we can define uh, until which date we should get that alert. So I, this is an optional setup. So I'm just keeping it with no end date. Then we can define alert me with where we can define a subject line whenever we receive that particular alert, what subject we should get and what is the message we should receive. So I'm just writing a message that a new vendor is created new vendor is created so we can define to send that alert via email we have to enable this checkbox and define the recipient so i have given my email id and uh, i'm just enabling this particular alert rule by clicking ok now i'm going to create a new vendor master in this system and let's have a look how alert comes on the screen and how it comes as an email to the user so I'm, I've just clicked on the new button on the action pane of all vendor master form and I'm going to create a vendor. Let's say dynamic square. Dynamic square. And I'm going to select a group. So it has suggested me that already there are some record exists. So I'm just going to use the same name 
and I'm going to save that particular vendor master form. Other than that, also user can give other information like contact information, address to the vendor on the other tabs available on this all vendor master form. So let's wait until we get the alert. Meanwhile, I'll explain you how we can manage the alert which we have already created. So by clicking on manage my alert, user will be able to see what all alert the user has created in the system. To, and in all you know what all forms he or she has created so you can see I am having two alerts right now which has been created by me one is related to the customer and another is related to the vendor if you want to change any information regarding the message or email recipient or you want to change any um, alert to me for or records you can do it under this manage my alert rule or if you want to delete the alert if you don't want that alert to come anymore then you can disable that also so by doing by using this manage my alert form user will be able to um, add it update the alert which they have created in the system so i'm just going to refresh my browser to see uh, the alert for the new vendor which we have created how it comes on the vendors uh, on the user screen so let's have a look i have just refreshed the entire browser of finops and let's have a look how alert comes so you can see on the top i have received one notification that a record has been created by clicking on this bell icon I will be able to see the information about the records so you can see on the top I have got the uh, subject saying that record has been created which is in the vendor table and a new vendor is created the message which I have written while defining the alert rule the same is coming here by clicking on this view account detail I will be able to see the vendor record which I have created now let's have a look how the email look like so I'm just refreshing my uh, email browser uh, outlook browser so you can see that I have received a email which is on my email ID and it is from dynamic square user to the recipient which we have mentioned in the alert rule and with the entire message detail of with the d365 logo and all that the message is a new vendor is created which I have written while creating the uh, alert rule with details and with a hyperlink to access the d365 application so like this we can create uh, the alert in all the forms in all the tables you know available in the system the forms can be either customer vendor fixer search project these are like the master data master data however we can define the alert on the transaction data as well so again like i have explained that alert can be used to give a notification to the concerned user for the specific event even can be for the master as well as transaction so we have seen a simple scenario in today's demo where we have created a alert for a new vendor master creation so whenever a new uh, vendor is created as a concerned user i am getting the notification so if you have any query or any doubt regarding this particular um, demo you can reach out to us at info at dynamicsquare.com for any demo purpose or for any details also you can reach out to us on info at dynamicsquare.com thank you so much for your time